and we arrive to Sarajevo, the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina. There's so much history in this city and so many places with their own stories to tell. Here we are, Sarajevo. Turn up the heat! Well, just before getting to Sarajevo, like two hours away, we stopped to eat in this beautiful waterfall. I'm gonna make my move. Bosnia and Herzegovina keeps surprising us with her natural wonders. These are the Kravica waterfalls. Gonna do my thing. They say that this is a mini version of the Iwasu Falls hidden in the Balkans. I'm coming through. Very impressive, and we're going to eat lunch here. We have a very hard job, don't we? These waterfalls are amazing, and you know what? There's a lot of life here, a lot of people running around, swimming and everything. So because of this life, because of this energy, we decided to stay here and eat lunch here. And this is the way you eat lunch here in Bosnia and Herzegovina. A lot of meat, that's the way it is. Also here they have this sauce. In all these Balkan countries you're gonna have this sauce that is made out of pepper. It's delicious and you know what? With the meat, it's perfect. I don't know why this invention didn't go around the world, but this is Ivar. It's very good, it's not spicy, it's made out of pepper and you know what? It's delicious. Good morning guys, we arrived to the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, we're here in Sarajevo and today we have a lot of things planned for you. Eh? Yes, and some of them are very peculiar. Sarajevo is the largest city in Bosnia and surrounded by the Dinaric Alps is the heart of the Balkans. We're on the main street called Ferhadia here in downtown Sarajevo. This is the beginning and you cannot miss it because you have at the beginning the eternal flame. I got the answer. Ferhadia Street is one of the busiest shopping streets in Sarajevo and the best location for a coffee or some shopping. It's simple as ABC. Right now it's 3.30 but the clock at the back is showing 7.30 so most of the people, tourists and locals think that it's broken but it's actually considered to be the only public clock in the world that keeps the lunar time. Amazing, right? This is the real Here is also the Bezistan Bazaar, where you'll find jewelry and some souvenirs. And it was built around 1540. It's a simple thing. Here in the old town of Sarajevo, you can find this fountain. And they say if you drink from here, you will for sure come back to Sarajevo. They don't teach you these things back in school it's algebra biology we're at the end of Arcadia street and you can see here the line that is dividing old and new Sarai. to figure out you and me got that thing it's not that hard to see we are in the biggest mosque in the balkans right and the name we're gonna put it down because it's difficult to pronounce <laughs> Simple as ABC. This is the largest historical mosque in Bosnia and Herzegovina and it was built in the 16th century. The entrance is just one euro, so it is very interesting to visit. Yes, it is. It's a simple thing. We are now in a house of spite, called like that because of an old stubborn man that didn't want to sell his house to an Austro-Hungarian monarchy. They wanted to build something big and powerful by the river because we are now in a top location, but this old man didn't want to sell his house. So what they did, they had a long, long negotiation, and after all, he agreed for them to give him a big bag of, of course, gold coins, and they had to bring his house brick by brick to the other side of the bridge. This guy knew what he was doing. Mine. So now it's not just a symbol of Bosnian stubbornness, but it's also a good restaurant with a typical Bosnian food, highly recommended. This dish is called punjene paprike, which would be filled peppers. Inside you have minced meat, uh, it's actually beef, and with the rice and spices, and it's really good. 
in my case uh, I have uh, filled onions I also have the filled pepper the Senia has that it looks very nice I didn't eat because I wanted to tell you guys I have this uh, leaf that is filled also with uh, minced meat and the leaf is from the grapes then you have this like a beef stew with this vegetable that I have no idea what is it but they said it's uh, a little sour let's see how it is This is the Latin bridge that is very important in the history, not just of Bosnia and Herzegovina, but also important in the world. Because here, the Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife, actually this guy was gonna get the crown of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, were murdered. And that was the beginning of the First World War. There is a funny part in this story. All the assassins that were trying to kill Franz Ferdinand were young, young guys. One of them tried to kill him throwing a bomb in the car. Now the bomb bounced out and hurt some people around. The guy felt like they're gonna capture him, so he took a pill with poison and jumped in the bridge. Funny part is that the bridge has water just like this, so it was just a crash in the, in the bridge, so he didn't die and he vomited the, the, the pill. So they captured him and for sure they tortured him. Now there is another one, another guy, who was a kid actually, 18 years old, and he was standing here eating a sandwich. He saw that the car was coming here, so it means they didn't kill him, so he turned, took the gun out and shoot them and killed them. Now he was arrested and considered a terrorist by the Austro-Hungarian Empire. But then after the First World War, in times of Yugoslavia, he was actually considered a hero. Because of him, Yugoslavia was independent. Sarajevo is the city that suffered the most during the war of 1992 and they built this tunnel to save the city. Serbian forces surrounded the city, so exit and entrance was impossible. This is why Bosnians built this tunnel to be connected with another town and the delivery of the food was possible. And this is also why they call it the tunnel of life. An average of 330 grenades were impacting here in the ground in Sarajevo. Now every impact was leaving a scar on the ground. And here in Sarajevo you're gonna see all over a lot of paintings like roses on the floor. And this is exactly the shape of the scar that was left from all of these impacts. Now it's time to visit an incredible place in the middle of the woods. The Winter Olympics in 1984 were here in Sarajevo and you can see a lot of infrastructure for the Olympics all around the city. But during the war most of them were destroyed and they were abandoned. So up to now you can go around and find crazy things like this one, mm -hmm. abandoned. This is the bobsleigh. This boxley truck was used by Serbian forces during the war as an artillery position uh, because it's laying high above the city, so it was a perfect position to see down what is happening. This is a very colorful place and surrounded by nature. That's the best of this place. It's so cool when you see these abandoned places around the world, especially. If you didn't see, we have a video of an abandoned mansion in Singapore. Singapore. So just click in the link, you're gonna see it also. It has the same reaction of the nature. When there is an abandoned place like this, just a little time without humans and nature already take over. And you can see how the trees are growing around. Everything is full of, if it's green, it's amazing. Nature is taking over, nature is taking nature over. Is taking over. So, I think it's easy to help the world. Just don't touch anything for a while and the nature is gonna take over, no? <laughs> this place is not just beautiful to visit, also has an incredible view of Sarajevo. This was built in a very nice location, so if you like trekking, I recommend you to take a day off and come here for the whole day and you can walk around the forest because the air is amazing, temperature is amazing and it's really, really aesthetical. 
There is also an abandoned observatory. Let's go and check. This is the observatory. You can see how it was destroyed during the war. You can still see the holes of the bullets. You can, it, it's really impressive. This abandoned observatory is a symbol of Sarajevo and still looks over the city from Mount Trebevich. All of this is open to the public, so it's for free. So you can see that people are coming here maybe during the night or something. They're making barbecue here. In the other side also, I saw a little bit of uh, uh, something burnt and they're, they're having fun and that's cool. <laughs> 